Alright, welcome to this tutorial. I'm sitting here almost outside at least in our newly rented house. We're actually waiting for our own house, but we won't get access to it until August. So we're renting this one and I'm actually just about 100 meters away from the sea. So that's great. And we have beautiful weather here today in Sweden. In this video, I thought I'm going to explain a little bit about catching arrows in, with fetch. Because I had this series last week where I showed you how to use React Query and I actually did a big mistake with the fetch function. I thought I was <laughs> catching a lot of errors in that function, but I actually wasn't because I had forgot about that uh, fetch won't throw, throw an error on 400 or 500 errors. So if we get a 404 where we can't find a resource, it will actually say that it's okay. So that's what I'm going to explain in this video and how we can solve it instead. And First, we're going to take a look at uh, this web page here, the Mozilla web page, where they explain a little about fetch. So if we look here, we, will, we have a response with fetch. On that response, before we convert it to JSON or, or anything else, we will have some different properties here. And this one is the most important one here, uh, response.ok. It will only tell us that it's okay if we get something in the range of 200 to 299. And this is great because then we know that we have an error and we can't throw an error ourselves uh, on these 404s and 500 and stuff that we want to throw an error on. So we also have something here that's called response.status where we can see the status code and we have the response.status text if you want to be more specific and uh, tell the user what error it is. So as we have these properties available for us, I'm going to show you another way of creating this fetch function. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to move back inside of my code editor and somewhere here, yeah, I actually have the sun here. Yeah, I can't hardly see here, but I try to do it anyways. So I'm going to create a function here now, const. Uh, yeah, we can call it a cool fetch function equals. It's going to be an async function. Something like this. Then I'm going to fetch some fake data or, or I'm not actually going to fetch it now. I'm just going to show you. So const uh, fetch data, I'm going to put it in a const and I await the fetch. And for now we can just type something in because I'm actually not fetching anything. I'm just making my point here, so to say. So we can uh, make something up, uh, API endpoint dot cool if you think it's cool or you can have something else all right so we're going to have the response in this const that's called fetch data and then as we have this property that's called okay we can check if we have an exclamation mark to check if not fetched data dot okay if this one isn't okay if it's false we can throw an error throw throw New error, whoops, something went wrong. And as I told you here before, if we go back, you can see that if you want to throw the status text or the status, you can do that. So you can actually do pretty much what you want here uh, when throwing this error, but this will do for now. So if we have an error, if this okay prop isn't okay, if it's set to false, then we're gonna throw the error. Otherwise we're gonna return I await again, as this is the conversion to JSON. Fetch data dot JSON like this, and this will return the data if we don't have an error. And this is how you should do it in that fetch function in my, in the last week's tutorials on React Query. Instead of having this try and catch block, I was actually thinking that I was catching those errors in that catch block. And you can, of course, have a try and catch block here also and throw your errors however you want. So it doesn't matter how you do it there. But the most important part here is that this one will not throw an error if you get a 404 or something. You have to check against this prop here on the response and then you can throw it yourself. And if everything is okay, you can return the data. In this case, it's going to be JSON data. That's why I converted to JSON. So that's how you do it to catch errors with fetch. So the last week uh, I did all the seven videos. I, I released one each day and I actually thought about re-recording them, but I can't actually replace the video in the already released videos. So I have to delete them and release them again. And that's no good. So that's why I made a little correction in the comments on those videos. And in this video, I show you 
how you can do it instead. So if you like this one, please subscribe and also hit that notification button so you know when I release new stuff. And see you in another one.